I'm back again with another reaction video and today we are taking a look at one of the most advantaged all girls senior high schools in Ghana so what's up and welcome back to another video if you are new hi my name is Lily and if you have not subscribed I think you should subscribe because I have videos that you will like if you like this one and more are coming so hit the subscription button and of course to all of you my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos we are going to take a look at the Accra girls senior high school I think these girls are one of the most advantaged all girls senior high in Ghana the reason being their location they are located right in the city of Accra, Ghana, and that kind of gives them advantage. You know, some Hollywood celebrities do have this tradition of visiting other school or the orphanage anywhere they go. You already know that someone like Beyonce, anywhere she goes, she must visit an orphanage in that country. So some celebrities prefer visiting a school and because these girls are right in Accra it makes it so easy for some of these organizations and celebrities to assess them and they are lucky <laughs> anyways uh let's go check them out and i'll be back let's go this is the entrance of Accra girls senior high school a school established in 1960 Accra Girls is an all-female second cycle institution that operates a non-denominational day and boarding school in Accra. Hello, I am Faustina Fuefriye, a proud and humble student from the prestigious Accra Girls Senior High School. Yes, I have heard about the debate competition on climate change. We see this as a platform to showcase our knowledge on the effects of climate change. Our school is having an automatic weather station which has shown us that indeed the climate is changing. Our main aim of going into this competition is to go in for the ultimate prize. After all, our motto of the school is to aim high so as to raise the banner of the school. Ajis! 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 In conclusion, there are only two schools in Ghana, that's Accra Girls and the Sebastian Akali Adama is my name, the Assistant Headmaster Academic Accra Girls. Uh, we are very grateful for this initiative and for our school to be prioritized to be part of this, uh, these 10 schools in Greater Accra region. This competition, Accra Girls, are you Accra Girls Senior High School or you are Accra Girls? Accra Girls Senior High School. Accra Girls Senior High School, fantastic. So they will be uh, to my left and they will be competing against Sunrise International High School. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, please speak into the microphone Thank so I can Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. That's great. Uh, we'll take a quick round of introductions and know who's here, who's representing what. So let's start off from my right. My name is Denry Courage, Form 3, Science. Fantastic. Crossing Sebelesley, second year, of in general science. Akpalu Jessica, second year. Deborah Paula. Please put your hands together for them. And to my surviving newbies, to my surviving newbies, Accra Girls, over to you. Benedict Akote, final year at. 
Next. Let's let's hear you in the microphone. Yes, it's on now. Esther A four Apia, Form Three, General Science. Next. Gladys Ashon, Form Three, General Science. Farida Yusuf, Form Three, General Science. The first name again? Farida Yusuf. Farida. Yes. Fantastic. Please put your hands together for them. It's an all women contingent, and I'm usually excited when I see contingents like that because I think it is their time to start changing some of the narrative. Well, so we shall have this competition between you both um, over, you know, four rounds of contests, right? So, rules of engagement for round number one, which is the right corner round. Now, in this round of the competition or the contest, each school will have the opportunity of answering eight questions in a row. And you answer these questions in a maximum of two minutes or 120 seconds. Every question you answer correctly attracts 10 points, okay? You get 10 points for answering any question correctly. If it's wrong, no penalties are deducted at this point. You can choose to skip a question if you don't have the answer to it, that's fine. But at the end of the two minutes, if you have some extra time and you want to address any of the questions before, there's an opportunity for you to do that, okay? And we'll expect that at any point you ring the bell, get acknowledged before you, prov you provide the answer to the question. Is that okay? And that means Accra Girls is your turn. Question one. On what date and month did the former president Jerry Rollins die? Jerry John Rollins. On what date and month did he die? On the 12th of November. 2020. On the 12th of November 2020. On the 12th of November 2020. I said exact date and month, right? So that's correct for 10 points. Who is the first female appointed minister of Ghana? First female appointed as minister of Ghana. Pass. Pass. Who of the paramount chief of the Achim people? A. Otumfo, B. Osajefu, C. Osiadeyo, and D. Yana. Otumfo. I'm sorry, it's not Otumfo. It is not Otumfo. You have some 30 seconds. Would you want to try any of the questions yes. you missed? Yes. I ask who the current Bank of Ghana governor is. Addison. I will give you that. Dr. Ernest Addison, I will give you that for 10 points. I ask again where the headquarters of the Commonwealth was? Ontario, Canada. Ontario, Canada. Ontario, Canada. And uh, your time is up. Your time is up. You try to salvage the situation. Please put your hands together for them. Show some appreciation as we end round number one. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round number one, Accra Girls Senior High School has 30 points. And Sunrise Christian High has 20 points. Please appreciate them as we take the rules of engagement for round number two. In round number two, the rules of engagement are slightly modified. You don't have the opportunity of answering eight questions in a row. The questions will be thrown to you. You have an opportunity uh, to answer it for 10 points. If not, um, we shall transfer the question as a bonus question to the opposing school. And if they answer correctly, they have a maximum of 10 points. There's a substitution. Okay, let's take that substitution and then we continue um, with round number two. And round two, we shall start off with you, Accra Girls. Start okay? I am ready whenever you are. Yeah. Great. Round number two. Question one, Accra Girls. A flight of stairs has 13 steps. Mary can go up for one step, two steps, or three steps each time. The fifth and eighth step cannot be stepped on as it is destroyed. How many ways is or are there for Mary to go up the stairs? Sometimes it's hard to get complete package. Sometimes the hardest part of doing these videos since since the beginning of this series is getting the alumni videos. You know, them getting the videos of alumni 
presenting a project to their alma mater it hard sometimes because some of them don't even remember to film a video and post online but i'm hoping i can find one or two but if i cannot find i'll make do with what we have let's go check the alumni as they come back to give back to their alma mater and i will be back let's go Ministry of Education are very much excited about the improvement in outcomes that we've seen consistently the past on the consistent excellent tradition and the tradition of holistic values that we build in the girl child, making her complete to fit wherever she finds herself. Building positive learning skills or attitudes in the girl child is, um, is an imperative because it takes the girl child to make the most impact in the family at home. I always contend that the last girl child that is educated will be the time that the last undesirable cultural practices will be eradicated in this country. And when the last girl child is empowered socioeconomically, that is the time that we will be overcoming poverty as a nation. And that is why the Ministry of Education, and for that matter, the government, has been consistent in ensuring the pursuit of sustainable development go for providing inclusive, quality, equitable education for all and providing long life learning opportunities, lifelong learning opportunities for all, ensuring that no one is left behind, not a girl, not a one with disability, not a one with learning challenges. Everyone born Ghanaian must have the opportunity to realize their dreams and to climb to the highest ladder of academics possible, to be able to more essentially have the skills required to make a difference in this world and to have the skills competitive to tackle some of the complex challenges that face us today in Ghana, in Africa and the world. We we'll continue to support you because you are one of our best schools we have in this country. Congratulations and I say I equal to you all. Thank you, Anama. Please you can do it better.
just make do with that but just remember like i've always said when you see alumni gathering in ghana it simply means one objective in mind and that is to give back to their alma mater nothing else for them to connect again with their ex-classmates or ex-schoolmates and of course to give back to their alma mater that is the culture here so in case i couldn't find a video of them donating a library donating something massive giving out prizes and all that make do with this one Anyways, let's go to the school and tour, and then I will be back. Let's go. What brought you to the Accra Girls High School? Mm -hmm. Accra Girls, I think the reason why I really wanted to work with them is it's an all-girls high school and empowering women is obviously something that's extremely important to me. And so I think that this school is a really great place for me to be able to do that. So uh, is it part of a, a project you're working on that brought you here or just a random stop that you're making? Um, yes, coming to Accra Girls is a project that Miss Universe Ghana organization has launched and it's basically the empowerment of women. And I have a awareness group called WAKE, Women Achieving Knowledge and Empowerment, and basically what I'm doing is bringing the program that I have in WAKE into the schools in Ghana and working with the girls within those schools. So have you selected a number of schools that you'll be uh, visiting? Or there is a list that we do have for schools and we're contacting them and figuring out how to coordinate working with the schools that aren't just all girls to be able to pull out select girls and things like that to work with on this program. And how did you find the interaction with the girls today? It was awesome. I had the best experience working with the girls today. They were so receptive and they just wanted to learn so much and they had so many questions for me. So it was really a great experience.
honestly feel like there is more in this school that I couldn't get and it took me a long time. I've been on these girls for a while. I've been trying to get their videos, gathering them. When I see one, I keep when I see one. But I hope that you are okay. You are not angry with me with this little that I could bring because this is all I could find. Uh, because I have been delaying yet. I'm not getting the videos that I'm looking for. So I have to make two with what we have at hand. But I do honestly hope that you enjoyed this video and that I will see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye.